Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Polaris Rush Pro Ride RC Snowmobile. Uh, this thing was pretty cool. I was excited when I found it. Uh, I like the size of it. It's pretty good size and it just looks really nice and detailed. I mean, it's got all these really nice details, working suspension. Uh, you'll see it's got, you know, suspension in the front and the back has suspension. Uh, it has working headlight and a tail light as well. Uh, so just really cool looking model. And, uh, you know, I live in Illinois and we get pretty harsh winters. So uh, I was, you know, wanted something to help get me through the, the snowy times while I can't fly outside. Uh, so I thought this would do the trick. Uh, it also comes with a couple wheel skids here, so you can actually, um, you've got to do some screwing. You've got to unscrew the normal skids and screw these on, uh, but you can run it indoors or, you know, on a smooth, you know, hard concrete surface or whatever. Uh, they say it can run in grass, but I found that that didn't work very well. It just uh, doesn't quite have the power to get through the grass, but it worked pretty well on concrete parking lot. Uh, this is the transmitter, and it's just two channels, so you know, you've got forward and backwards, and then turning left and right, so that's all there is to that. So a pretty simple transmitter, and it is 2.4 gigahertz, of course, so you can use it outdoors. Um, but now to get to the details, um, so when I first ran this on dry ground, you know, it was a little bit slow, but a little bit, you know, faster than I was expecting. I, I knew it was going to be slow, and... I've known people that have done a lot of mods on these things, um, but you know, I was a little bit surprised by, you know, on the, on the dry concrete surface, it actually ran pretty decently, and then, you know, I waited and waited and waited, and the snow finally came, we got a really nice, I don't know, four to six inches of fresh snow, and I had nice, you know, fresh powdered snow, I took this out, I was so excited, I put it on the, the fresh snow, give it gas and it just buries itself I mean it just it just sunk into the snow didn't even come close to moving forward and I could kind of push it and I could give it a a little bit of a head start and it would do it it would it would work for a second but then it's just too slow and weak and too heavy that it just ends up bogging down and just burying itself into the snow uh, so if it was faster, if it had more power, it was definitely doable. I mean, when I pushed it, it worked. So, I mean, mechanically or whatever, you know, all the skids and in concept, it could have ran on that snow. It's just way too slow. Uh, ridiculously slow. I don't know what they were thinking on this. Uh, it only runs on AA batteries, which store in this little compartment here. I forget if it was like four or six batteries or yeah I think there were seven seven batteries according to the box there uh, so that was the first sign that it was going to be slow is that when it just has double a batteries it doesn't have a lipo battery or anything um, but then I took it out into the street where you know the cars had matted down the snow and it was a really hard firm snow and it worked on that it was it, you know, it was driving around, but it was still really slow. I mean, to the point where it was kind of boringly slow. I mean, I think even a kid would get pretty tired of this quickly. I mean, it was just, it's just so slow. I mean, really almost probably that slow. I mean, just a slower than a walking speed probably. And the turning radius is really wide. I mean, I could barely do a U-turn in the entire width of a street. Uh, let alone, you know, try to do anything quick, and it's definitely not fast enough. You're not going to be jumping this off anything. I mean, I don't even think the the suspension would ever come into play because the thing doesn't move fast enough to to need the suspension. I mean, it's just barely moving along. It's not like you're going to hit a bump fast enough. I mean, this suspension's pretty stiff. I mean, it takes some force to get it to move. So, I don't know. I mean, it looks cool. It's got all the the you know features for the scale model but then they just completely neuter it with just giving it no power I mean, just incredibly slow uh, so really really disappointing here's the the tread if you want to get a closer look at it it's just kind of a a rubber material so yeah I mean I now I understand why so many people have modded this I mean I know they've done things to reduce weight and put brushless motors in them and stuff like that 
Uh, but you know, for what it was, I think it was sixty, seventy dollars, something like that. Out of the box, it's pretty much unusable. I mean, you can't use it on actual fresh powdered snow. You've got to use it on like matted down, you know, parking lot or street snow where it's really firm snow. There's no fluffiness to it, and even then, it is just it is just boringly slow. So pretty disappointed with this one, even though, I mean, it's, it's cool in concept, you know, for a while it's pretty neat to see an RC snowmobile, but then you just kind of quickly get tired with the speed. Uh, so anyway, we'll go ahead and show you the outdoor running footage I did, and you'll see when I start off the video, you know, I'm expecting to kind of get going in the powdered snow and it just completely failed on me, so I didn't really know what to do right off the bat. Uh, but then I came up with the idea of trying on the street, and that worked pretty well. So, all right, let's check it out. All right, this is the outdoor dry ground test run of the Polaris Rush RC snowmobile. I've got the indoor skis on with the wheels on. And it say it can work on concrete and grass, so we'll see how it does. Wow, it's faster than I was expecting already. That's, hey, that's not, not too bad, really. Oh, that's working much better than I was expecting, actually. Oh, I have I have lost my turn signal. It's got 2.4 gigahertz, so I don't know why. Lost signal. Wow, it's crap out here. It's super cold. All right, let's uh, take it over to some grass. See ya. <laughs> Not quite good on the off-road there. All right, let's see how it does on the grass over here. Hey, <laughs> better than I was expecting. pretty bogged down in this grass. It's pretty short grass too. It's doing it, but not very well. Not really turning too much either. So, I don't know, I guess I'd say it, it does grass, but not, not too well. Certainly better on concrete. So, yeah, good on concrete, not so much on grass. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and turn on some snow and we'll see how it does in the snow. All right, snow. All right, that's more like it. Now let's see how this thing does in the snow. Oh, not good. like this stuff's just too powdery. And it's just digging in. Alright, well I guess we'll have to try again when the snow gets a little bit harder. Try it out here in the street. There we go, that's more like it. Well, <laughs> this thing's not good in the in the powdery snow. Looks like I needed some trim too. Alright, 
Let's try it some more. And it's turning hard to the right. Definitely doesn't make sharp turns, that's for sure. Lots of steering trim applied. There we go, now it's going straight. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Definitely not not super fast. I don't like being out here in the middle of the street. But there we go. It did all right in the thicker stuff. Yeah, it just ends up burying itself in the in the thicker snow. This is fresh snow. Just came down last night, so. A little bit powdery but out here in the street it works pretty well it's kind of cool could definitely do with a little bit more speed that would maybe help too in the powdery snow from keeping it to you know burying itself and it just doesn't have enough momentum and just ends up digging into the snow with its own weight Yeah, it seems a little bit faster on dry ground. It's a little, it's a little slow on snow. It does have a reverse? That's cool. Going downhill here gets a little bit of speed going. Man, <laughs> it is just not good with this thicker stuff. So yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit boringly slow. Definitely needs more speed. <laughs> Man, thing blows to bury itself. Let's see if I can get it to go uphill over here. Hill just fine. Man, it really is slow. Though. <laughs> not really sure what they were thinking with this speed and power is just not enough to really you know get over the thicker snow or 
It's kind of kind of neat, but it's a little bit boring how slow it is. <laughs> it just does not it does not get through the thicker snow. All right, well my ears are starting to go numb. I think that was a good sample of what it can and cannot do. I think we'll go ahead and call it quits there. That is the Polaris, Polaris Pro R uh, RC snowmobile. Kind of neat. I like that it's got the uh, indoor tracks, but definitely lacking on speed and power. Got to be on some you know thicker uh, matted down snow, not the fluffy stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you next time.